guys, Dave Anderson here, Helicools Helipad. Hey, today we're gonna try to get a reservoir built for this. So I'm not just dipping into a bucket and just to, just to suck out and push back in. No, we need to actually have a reservoir that I'm gonna mount on the inside rail of the frame. And then after that, well, you know, I still have to stabilize this tongue from going back and forth just in case it, that uh, I was to back up and accidentally hit the trailer and push it back. I wanna have that tongue stable enough, rock solid enough where it's gonna be able to take a little abuse fore and aft. So stay tuned. This is going to be some cool fabrication. And I'm also gonna throw in something cool at the end. Stay tuned. All right, the idea is that this is not a pressure system, but the outflow will come into here. And of course, if it's not being uh, extracted from here, it'll just fill up the can. So set like this, it'll just fill up the can. When it's needed, and when I'm pumping, it'll uh, suck from the bottom here. So hopefully uh, it'll never get any air into it. Um, but this, I think this should work pretty good. Um, I've got it uh, double rubber grommet sealed. I wish I had some RTV to smear around this, but I don't have any right now. Well, this wimpy little can isn't near strong enough. <laughs> that thing wants to just bend away from it. It's, it's, um, nah, it ain't gonna work. Time to, uh, Get serious about this. What the heck, you mean I have to get serious? All right, fine. How about I fabricate something out of this box steel? That ought to be strong enough. Fabrication time. That's looking pretty dandy. Oh, look at it sparkle. Look at it sparkle, look at that. Look at the shiny thing, look at the, sh over here, look at the shiny thing. <laughs> All right, so I have the non-pressured in, and I have the non-pressured out, which will go to the pump. This one comes from the uh, from the valve, and this one is going to be a filler. And I know that I have, I know that I have a spare part around here somewhere that I can use very easily for the filler. I think this is going to work. Let me go find it. This is a little piece that I cut off of um, for the um, uh, waste oil burner. So that is gonna work perfect. I can just weld it right along the side there, put a little cap on top of it, and this is gonna work great as a filler port. <laughs> perfect. All right, what do you think of that? <laughs> I think that's gonna work out perfectly. I just have to uh, thread these. <laughs> oh man, get a little cap for that. That's beautiful. I like it. There's just not enough metal here. It's just, just a spot too thin. I'm only getting like two threads in there. So it's not wanting to hold very well. I have to think of something else. Well, I don't really want to, but I think I'm gonna, I think I'm just gonna weld those on there. 
All right, well, there's more than one way to skin a cat. I didn't really like welding it on because, well, if I ever strip these out for some real, really bad reason, there ain't no getting them off except cutting them off and re-drilling it. But that's okay. It's on there. It's time to get this thing full and get these connected. All right, so there it is. Now I painted it a uh, kind of a gloss green uh, so it'd have better weather protection, but eventually I'm going to paint that uh, OD green. Yeah, nice. So far, no leaks. <laughs> I got a good weld right on. You want to talk about something that's heavy? This stainless steel pole. OMG, it is heavy. All right, got the notch cut out. And I have to say, even a piece this small is very, very heavy. Stainless steel, man, it's, it ain't light. Tweaking. All right, I think I got it. I just need to prepare some surfaces for welding. Yeah, that looks good. All right, now this should prevent movement both fore and aft. So that trailer tongue should hold in place pretty strong. I'm liking it. Hey, stay tuned for the special presentation coming up next. Bruh. 